Hi, this is Dave Lawrence from the California Type Foundry. So if you are someone who has not used FontLab, or if you're sort of new to professional software, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna briefly go through all the parts of the interface so that you can get to know what is what. Okay, so here we are in FontLab 7. It's it's a lot to take in, especially with a fully completed font like this. That's a, that's a lot of stuff to sort of look at. So let's break it down to its basic components. First, the main part that you're going to be working in most of the time are your windows and tabs. So these are going to be things like uh, this here, which is your font tab. Here is your metrics uh, and your kerning tab, and those are pretty much look the same, but they have a little bit of different tools. Then here is your glyphs uh, window or tab, and that's where you go and do the drawings and the stuff like that. How you access these is you go to window, new font tab, new glyph tab, new metrics tab, new kerning tab. So that makes sense for the windows. You go up to window. Okay, next thing are your toolbars, control bars, and sidebars. So those are all the things that you see once you go into here, all the things that are on the top, underneath, on the sides, all around the, these things up here. And those allow you, those help you do more things in each of your tabs or windows. And here, a glyph usually has a little bit less of those, although you can add those. And for to do that, you go up to view, you go to control bars, and then you can add the sidebar, text bar, glyphs bar, and those different things. Okay, so those are your toolbars. Okay. Next thing are your panels. So of panels, there are two types that I like to distinguish. There are panels that sort of do similar things to your toolbars. And let's look at, let's go through the list. We're, we're not gonna go through the whole list, but just to get an idea. So you can guess that if you have your glyph, your font, uh, your font map and stuff like that, since there's already a font window, font map sort of does some of the similar stuff. And in fact, if I click on that, you can see it sort of looks the same over there. Okay. The ones that are more different that you cannot do, uh, they have unique things that you can only do in that panel. Those are going to be things like swatches or stroke or th the, uh, the brush, the elements panel the the layers and masters and the variations and a lot of things you can only do through those particular panels next let's take a look at menus so this is all the hidden stuff and let's look at how the menus are organized so you can, if you're looking at the top, you have your basic regular ones, file, edit, stuff like that. Text is to help you to input the text so you can get the right word that you want. But uh, looking at the main menus that you use most of the time, you start from the broadest area, which is starting up at the font level, then going down, then a font is made out of glyphs or different characters. Then each character is made out of different elements and each of those elements is made out of different contours. Okay, so those sort of go from the, the largest group of things to the smallest things. And then you also have your tools. Uh, and this has a great one, a great hidden thing here, which is the actions part of the tools. And also your scripts. I have not, I wanna use type rig more, but I have not used that, but you have some different scripts that allow you to do th things faster and better. So that are those are the things that are hidden inside your menus. 
Now, last of the major things we're going to come to are settings and preferences. So these are divided in a couple different things. You have the program wide, so for all of Font Lab, those preferences for that. You have the things for just the font that you're in, the font wide, and then the master wide, which is just one master of your font. So let's take a look at how to do that. So the first one is for Font Lab, you go to preferences. Now, um, over time, uh, and, and based on user suggestions, Font Lab has added a lot of customizability to all the parts of the program. So that's here on the side, and uh, we don't have that, that much. We'll go through that in a different video. So let's put OK there, and the other way you get to that is through Command, Comma. That's the usual way you get to those preference areas. OK, the next one for the font and the master settings, you're going to click this I up here. So that is your font info. The shortcut is Option, Command, F, or Alternate, Control, F on PC. OK, it sort of has my things hanging in there. Okay, so let's take a look at this. You got your master's properties. So this, so actually the, the more global are the things down here, the legal things, the axes, the masters, and all that. That's the font properties. Then the master properties are up here. However, the, the family dimensions actually is sort of a font property because that should be the same between all your different masters that you have down here. So this is how you change these sort of global preferences or the settings uh, of font-wide. And I'm going to go through workspaces is sort of a part of the user interface. And it's basically how you organize everything that we just talked about. So if I go up to window and then I go down to workspaces, that's going to have different things. So right now I'm in the default, but if we were going to do something uh, such as open type features or our classes, then we would go to features and classes. And then we have our features panel over here and our classes panel on the right. Or if we're going to do kerning, then we go, excuse me, go to that one. And then that's going to give us kerning panel, pairs and phrases, and then also our classes. So we can look at our kerning classes down there. So that is about it. That gives you a general idea of where everything is. Stuff is in the middle, and then your panels, your toolbars, all that stuff supports the main work that you're doing, which are your drawings. Of, of your font. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video. Hi, Dave Lawrence from the California Type Foundry. So if you are, this video is for someone, frick, <laughs> sorry Adam. Okay, let's try again.